On this episode of the 1967 Mustang Project, we're going to restore the rear folding seat. So this is the first panel of the fold-down seat that I've taken apart. And it's, once you get it out, you know, it's just a matter of taking all these uh, Phillips head screws out. But this panel is in really sad shape. It looks like, I don't know this, but <laughs> I think the previous owner might have reached back in here and tried to dye this carpet because I see some maybe with like a spray I don't know or maybe you use spray paint but there's some black evidence of um, some type of spray anyway that's gonna clean up I think it's gonna clean up fine with some triple zero steel wool and, uh, and I'll use some lacquer thinner I'll find a way to polish these chrome parts back to how they should be. So I, I expect I expect good things. A little bit of surface rust, but I'm gonna see if steel wool will take care of that. So, I mean, I can always buy new trim, trim pieces, but I'd rather save what I've got just for the whole spirit of the thing. So, I'm gonna take it apart and, uh, and trim a new piece of carpet to um, fit this space. It's in pretty good shape. That'll, I'll buff that with a mild polish and one of those cloth wheels. So I expect that to turn out well. Pretty sure this is the first time this has ever been taken apart. This car is amazingly original. It does not seem like it's been through a restoration before me. It seems like I'm the first one to, uh, to turn a lot of these screws. Okay. So this carpet is glued down, so I'm going to turn the camera off and do whatever I need to. Maybe I'll use a heat gun, maybe it'll just be uh, pulling to get this carpet off. The new carpet, ACC. I paid for the slightly denser uh, choice of carpet, a little bit nicer. You know, when you bend this, you can't see the substrate. So, but still black. multi-purpose adhesive. This is what I use for some of the carpet that's already in the car. For that, I'm going to try some triple zero steel wool on these parts with a little bit of lacquer thinner. Let's 
see what that does. Oh, that's perfect. Well, how about that? I can still do some more polishing, but that's awesome. Hmm. How about these? How these do. I'll still use a polishing wheel on these. I don't know if that shows up on camera. This is where that overspray was. All right, that's going to be great. I'll I'll use one of those cloth polishing wheels to make that really pop all of these parts, but that's great, great news. Well, I'm very happy with the way that turned out. I'm glad I was able to save the chrome without just buying new aftermarket chrome. It's a really nice looking um, folding down rear seat. I, I think I'm just going to leave it down most of the time. So next episode is about the door panels and the instrument pod. Join me then.